So today I will be talking on the CT scan grading of the autosclerosis. Regarding the autosclerosis, the imaging is often not pursued in patients who present with the uncomplicated conductive hearing loss and the characteristic clinical finding. Patients with only conductive hearing loss are often treated medically or with surgery without any imaging. The diagnosis of the autosclerosis may be unclear clinically in case of sensorineural or mixed hearing loss. In that circumstances, imaging is quite helpful. So actually the mechanism of sensorineural hearing loss in autosclerosis is le less well understood. It may result from direct injury to the cochlea and the spiral ligament from the lytic process or from release of proteolytic enzymes into the cochlea. High resolution CT scan of the temporal bone so very subtle bone findings. It is the imaging technique of choice in the evaluation of the osseous changes in the petrous bone and has been described by the many authors with respect to autosclerosis. So, the various authors have used the CT grading system of the autosclerosis in their studies. Palbasuri initially proposed a grading system for cochlear autosclerosis on the basis of disease site and progression. Similarly, Sin et al. also proposed the CT grading. Likewise, Kyo, Kyo Mizu et al. also proposed their own CT scan grading of autosclerosis. Similarly, Rotevial et al. also described a classification system on the basis of appearance of the involvement of the OT capsule. But among them, the most accepted is the grading system directed by the Simons and Fanning who have recently published a CT grading system for autosclerosis. So now, before going to CT scan grading of the autosclerosis, I will talk something about the reporting checklist for preoperative high resolution CT scan of temporal bone in autosclerosis. There are the nine reporting points and the clinical and surgical relevance with the reporting points are shown in the table. First one is the size and location of the plaques. Actually, the size and location of plaques are very important because it may correlate with the severity of conductive end loss and the earbone gap in the pair tone audiometric finding. Second is the status of the wall window. This status of the wall window, we have to look upon the status of the wall window. This is very important because sometimes there may be complete obliteration of the, this wall window area. In that case, before proceeding the surgery, drilling is the must. Likewise, the status of the round window, we have to be look we have to look on the round window status while looking at the CT scan of the temporal bone because obliteration of the round window may be there because of the otosclerotic foci. In that case, if we, do, if we do the surgery or if we do the very good surgery, but the outcome may not be so good. Similarly, the facial lobe canal, the prolapsed facial lobe or floppy facial lobe may obscure the oval window view. And in that case, surgery is not possible. Similarly, concurrent medullar pathology Inflammatory disease must be treated prior to surgery. Likewise, osculus and integrity, osculus and fixation or fracture, they may complement with the conductive hearing loss in case of the autosclerosis. Likewise, though, we have to look at the sinus plate and the jugular bulb because the distant jugular bulb may complicate the surgery and we, might, we may not be able to perform the surgery well. Similarly, while looking at the CT scan, we have to look at the inner pathology also because congenital cochlear inner ear pathologies may be there, we preclude the surgery. Likewise, we have to look at the opposite ear in the CT scan because we all know that the disease is bilateral in 80 to 85% cases, even in the absence of the symptoms. So, this is the axial high resolution computer tomographic images from superior to inferior of the left sided petrosal bone. And this showing the topographic location of the 12 densitometric measurements. And I am now going to show that this uh, axial high resolution computer tomography images from super to inferior view. This is at the level of the fistula and defenestrum as shown in the figure at the anterior ridge of the oval window. Then the second area of interest in case of autosclerosis is the mid modular and the internal auditory canal level as shown by the two, three, four, five, six, seven, and a two is the actual, this is the posterior pericochlear region where we have to look at. Three is the cochlear apex. Four is the anterior pericochlear area. Five is the anterior 
part of the internal artery canal, six is the posterior part of the internal artery canal, and the seven is the sacral area, likewise eight is the lateral semicircular canal area. So these areas has to be looked upon while looking at the foci of the otosclerosis. Next is the area of the round window niche. And as shown in the figure, the area nine is the anterior basal tron of the cochlea, 10 is the middle basal tron, and 11 is the posterior basal tron of the cochlea. Likewise, 12 is the area of the round window niche. So these three are the key areas where we have to look upon while going looking for the autoscurity foci in the CT scan of temple bone. So now let's go to the CT grading of the autosclerosis. As per the uh, Simons and the Fanning in 2005, the grading of the autosclerosis is like there is the grade one to grade three. Grade one is the actually it is the solely on the facial area. The location of the foci or the plaques is solely on the facial area. Likewise, in the grade two. It could be patchy localized cochlear disease with or without fenestral involvement. And this grade 2 is further divided into grade 2A, grade 2B, and grade 2C. Grade 2 is involvement of the basal tron, grade 2B is involvement of the middle tron, and grade 2C is the around the lateral aspect of the basal, middle, and apical tron of the cochlea. So, in case of grade 3, there is a diffuse confluent cochlear involvement with or without fenestral involvement. Next is the grade 1, as shown in the figure. This is a solely fenestral. That's the involvement of the oval window area, and that this is the this hypodensity area in the oval window area. So this is which shows the autosclerotic foci. Similarly, grade two in the grade two A, there is the retrofenestral focus localized to the posterior. This is the basal tron of cochlea. This is the mid and this apical tron of cochlea, and this is the posterior part of the basal tron of cochlea, and the round window niche area involvement in case of grade two A. Similarly, in the grade two B. There is a retrofenestral foci involving the mid, mid tone of the cochlea. This basal tone of the cochlea is completely um, uh, spared, and the mid tone of the cochlea involved in case of grade 2B, as shown in this figure. This is the head of the malleus, and this is the body of the incus, and the surplus of incus, and this is the middle cavity area. This is the middle cavity area, and this is the editors, and this is anterior media. So, in the grade 2C, this is a retrofenestral focus around the lateral aspect of the basal tone of the cochlea. Middle and apical tonal cochlea hole is involved in case of grade 2C as shown in this CT scan figure. Similarly, in the grade 3, in case of grade 3 of the CT scan of the temporal bone, there is a diffuse and the confluent retrofenestral involvement of the otic capsule as shown in the figure in the up figure in the in the both the figures. That is the, in the superior figure, we can see that involvement of the whole of the otic capsule as the basal, apical, and mid tone along with the Fenestral area, otic capsule hole is involved. Similar in the lower figure, the whole of the otic capsule is involved with the hypodense bony area seen in this figure. So this CT scan grading is quite helpful. In case of identified otosclerosis uh, in the patient who have got the mix or the sensory hearing loss, and if there is a diagnostic dilemma regarding the otosclerosis. So these are the references which I took for preparing my slide. These are to be LG at all. Uh, regarding the cochlear implantation, 53 patient with otosis, similarly, Marcel A.S. at all and Puroid B. at all and Lee C. at all. These are differences which are important while reading the CT scan temple bone. Thank you.